Okay, this is Mr. Seward, your favorite PLTW teacher, and this is another lesson in CEA. This is going to be Activity 326, which is about beam design. And you can read all this stuff on your own. You'll find this document in our uh, shared folder under my name. So we're going to need a couple things. One, you're going to need eventually to uh, go to this website right here. So just keep that in mind. You're going to need to do that. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be calculating some stuff for four different beams. An interior beam, an exterior beam, a girder on column line three, and a girder on column line five. And here is the partial second floor flame framing plan. And right now, the very first step in, in doing this uh, process is we're going to be using MD solids to calculate the loading. We're going to uh, be creating a beam diagram using MD solids. We're going to calculate end reactions. And we're going to calculate the maximum moment using MD solids. Now, once we have this done, we're going to create, uh, sorry, we're going to print the uh, document and then we are going to put that into our engineering notebook. So the interior beams, I'm going to see if I can zoom in on this a little bit so we can see it. The interior beams are all these beams in here. That's what all the interior beams are. And they are spaced six foot eight inches apart. The tributary area or width for all of these beams is six feet eight inches or uh, actually you have to convert this to a decimal so you can take uh, eight and divide that by 12 and get 0.66 so the tributary area of all of these interior beams is 6.66 feet so I'm going to scroll down here and take a look at the criteria we see that we have a dead load of 50 pounds per square foot and we have a live load of 150 pounds per square foot. So we're going to combine these two for a total of 150 pounds per square foot. And that's per linear foot. So as you go across this beam, the total load on the beam per foot is 150 times the total. Uh, tributary width which is 6.66 so I'm going to take 150 multiply that times 6.66 equals and I get 999 uh, pounds per foot as you walk across or as you go across this we're going to just round this to a thousand so we're going to take this 1,000 pounds per foot and multiply it times the length of the beam, which is 18. And so we'll just do this on the calculator. 1,000 times 18 equals 18,000 pounds. All right, so let's get into our uh, MV, MD solids now. All right, so I'm going to use this beam. It's a determinant beam. And the total beam length is going to be 18 feet. Don't forget to change this to feet down here. Location on the left supports at zero. Location on the right support is going to be at 18. I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to enter it so that this is a distributed load so it's a distributed load right here and uh, girders are always going to be distributed loads uh, excuse me beams are distributed loads girders are going to be point loads and we'll do be, uh, girders at another uh, another point so our load goes from 0 to 18 feet. Lead out these that 0 feet. The load magnitude is that 1,000 
pounds per foot that we just calculated and I'm going to hit enter and this is where we get our beam diagram and this we're going to now uh, print so oh I goofed I hit back give me a second I'm going to get that back up it wasn't hard to get back I just had to hit the uniform load again now I'm going to go to the word file I'm going to hit print diagram I want you to put your name in here so I'm going to put in my name of course and let's see what else do we want to write ah uh, I know interior beam and then I'll hit next and I'll choose my printer don't forget you're on the Rico printer at school I'll hit print and I'll say OK and this is going to print out my uh, diagram here we're going to put this diagram into our engineering notebook so I'll show you that in a second okay so uh, here we are with the uh, diagrams taped or placed or glued however you want into my uh, engineering notebook you'll notice up here I put in for the title 3.2.6 beam design dash interior and this shows me the end reactions of 9,000 uh, pounds on each end of the beam and it also shows me my maximum moment of 40,000 500 so at this point we're going to go back into our program so I'll go back to our word document here and scroll down and other videos are going to have the next steps for required nominal moment and plastic section modulus and the other items that need to go into uh, this calculation so talk to you in a few minutes